Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Zoom has a new update out that it's really has a lot of cool features, but I'm going to discuss just one today. If you like breakout rooms, Zoom has really come up with a cool feature. As the host, I could always allow Zoom to assign participants to the breakout rooms. I could also always manually assign participants to the breakout rooms. But with this release on 921, Zoom 5.3.0, when I go to breakout rooms, look at this feature right there, third option down, let participants choose room. So now they can self-select their own room and move between room to room. Great feature if you're an educator or business person, because I know y'all like breakout rooms. In case you've never used a breakout room before, you got to be the host. If I had 30 people in my meeting and I did two rooms, it would automatically assign 10 people to each room. If I did four rooms, I would have seven in two rooms and eight people in the other two rooms. Five rooms would be even six. I can manually assign people, I can automatically assign, or I can let them choose themselves. What I wanted to show you, though, is if you say assign automatically and then say, oh, I wish I would let them go from room to room themselves. When you hit create, there are the five rooms I decided. I could rename them. I could have one called accounting, one called marketing. I would have people listed under here automatically. I could move them manually. But if I come to options, because remember, I want them to move themselves now and I didn't select it, that would be... Let me do that one more time. It's a little bit off the screen. That would be under options, allow participants to choose rooms. A couple other features, allow participants to return to the main session. I like leaving that one checked myself. Um, automatically move all assigned participants to breakout rooms because they can move to the breakout room themselves. Do you want your breakout rooms to time out? It's set for 30 minutes. You can change that. And then there's a countdown. I like the countdown feature too. I, I sometimes feel like 60 seconds is too long. So sometimes you may want to tweak that, but they can always come back anyway. I hope that helps. Uh, thank you for your time. Let me know in the comments about this new breakout room feature. Oh, one note. Not only does the host have to have 5.3.0, the participants, if they want to move between the breakout rooms themselves, they must also have 5.3.0. So this to me sounds like a good upgrade if you have students, if you're an educator. Thank you. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.